I wake up to my alarm around 7.30 in the morning. If I have time, I'll go downstairs and I'll get breakfast, but that's 50-50. Most of the time I just grab a water bottle, make a little cup of coffee in my Keurig in my dorm room, and then I walk to class at 8.30 at Angel Hall for English. It's fall now, so the leaves are changing and it's beautiful outside. There's a ton of reds, yellows, greens that are all coming together right now, and it's very pretty, especially in Ann Arbor because of all the huge trees. It's about 15 people, very dynamic, one-on-one -on -one action, um, do a lot of work on articles and stuff like that, and then I'll move from that class immediately over to my sociology class, globalization, and that's a big lecture hall of about 75 people. So then I just sit and lecture, take notes all day. The campus is so compact, it's great, the Diag is always bumping with people. But I'll go back to my dorm and then around 12 o'clock I'll go downstairs to either eat at the dorm food or I'll go across the street and have the union. Typically I would try and go back to the dorm and my motivation would be to get my homework done. But every single time it ends up being I'm going to play two dots or some kind of game on my phone until it's about 1.30 and it's time for me to leave. We sat down at the beginning of the season and said our goal is to get better every day. Practice is not, I wouldn't say that it's grueling, but it is definitely competitive. We have 17 girls in the gym right now, and every single person is competing for a starting spot. So every single girl comes into practice with the mindset that this is game day, and we are gonna compete till our last breath to try and get our starting spot solidified. I wouldn't say that our practices are designed to be hard, but because of the competitiveness in the gym, you end up just being so wiped out by the end of the day because you're working so hard in practice. But normally we'll get out of practice around five or 5.30, and then dinner doesn't start until about six. So we can kind of linger in the locker room for a while. We jam out to music. It's kind of like our downtime. Take off your shoes. You don't have to rush. So the dinner at Yost is actually a very new thing, but it's awesome. We all love it. There's always white meat, fish, and red meat every single night. And then there's always a salad bar. There's fruit, water, juice provided for us. And it's so nice because you never get sick of anything. There's always so many options. And at the same time, you don't have to worry about dinner after practice every single day. You don't have to worry about when am I going to have time to study? When am I going to have time to eat dinner after practice? It's very convenient. And we all love it so much. And then I go across the street to the AC, which is the academic center. We have specific private rooms that are designated to us. Uh, just volleyball, they have different you know, basketball, football rooms, and if no one's in the football room, you guys sneak in there if it's a bit, really busy night. But uh, it's definitely a very productive area. Everybody is there to get homework done, and it's very easy to get down to business. Our academic advisor is just downstairs, so if you ever need anything like that, you know, you're concerned with the class or need help, Tommy is downstairs, and he's always there. Most of the nights I'm done around 11, depending on the day. Now, especially finals coming close, I'm out of there by about midnight. Once we get back to the dorms, we talk until we get up to each other's floors, and then I'm normally knocking out into bed. As soon as I get into my dorm room, I'll grab my stuff, go brush my teeth real quick, and I curl up right in the bed. 